Hello everyone, in this video we are going to rebuild the product slider we can see right here on the nike.com homepage and it's actually a product slider they use on almost every single other page. Um, it consists of a text element right here in the top left corner, then some navigation icons in the top right corner, product slider underneath consisting of an image and a couple of text elements so let's recreate this one within instant uh, i've already prepped a few things i've uploaded the uh, the assets that we need and also uh, the textiles so let's get started with building go to the uh, insert panel to elements and then under advanced we can find the carousel element as you can see um, the navigation uh, is uh, here on the bottom we need to move that up but we also need a text element so to accomplish this let's drag in two columns within the slider um, then we head over to the layer panel and we will drag the navigation into the row here on the right which brings us closer to the end result then I believe there is a minimum height on this section. So let's remove that one like this. And it's the height is set to fit. So it will adjust to the content within. Then let's align this one on the end. So it's in the top right corner, which we want. We can also remove the fill color. Then we drag a text element into the row here on the left what do they say best sellers i believe um let's change the size to 24 pixels i think we can get close yes that looks good then the textile we can go with a header and then we also remove the fill as you can see we're already getting closer um, the thing i don't really like yet is the amount of space in between the text element the navigation and then the slider so let's change that by adjusting the gap to eight i also believe there's a bit less spacing in between the individual slides so let's also do that by editing the slide and then changing the gap to let's say eight I think uh, this looks fairly good. Um, yeah, so the slider, an individual slide, consists of an image and then one, two, three, four text elements uh, under each other. So let's do that. First, drag an image into this first slide. And then we can drag four text elements underneath, but I do believe the spacing changes a little bit. As you can see, there's a bit more space in between the image and this text and this part. And then also, again, there's more space between the title and the price than in between the two different prices. So let's drag in two rows and then we fill each row with content. So in the first one, two text elements. Uh, go to the layer panel there we can see we are doing the right thing uh, it's now actually aligned the directions horizontal so let's change it to vertical so it's underneath each other which we want um, and then let's duplicate this uh, this row and delete the other one uh, yeah we're getting a bit closer first let's uh, upload a nice image I believe it's this one yes and then let's fill in the content and then afterwards we uh, we check the spacing or the gap in between uh, the elements okay well first let's remove this color because it's white um, so let's do that first um, I think there's also a color here. Yes, delete and delete and now adjust the spacing. So there's not that much spacing in, beneath, in between these two text elements. So let's change the gap to eight. Let's do the same thing for the other one. Uh, the gap 
to 8. Um, the height should also be set to fit because now it's a bit too much. So let's adjust it to the height to the content within. Boom. Let's also do it with the other one. Change to fit. And we're getting a little bit closer again, actually. Um, so let's do some styling. Change it to the black color. Same for this. Black, this one actually should be like this. And then I believe the spacing should be 16. I think this looks good. And there's also some spacing in between the image and the first text element. So let's do that by changing the spacing around and then specifically for the spacing at the bottom. Let's change it to 10. And I think this is starting to look pretty good already if we compare it to the Nike.com store. Um, to work in the most efficient efficient way it's best to just duplicate this um, slide so by pressing command d it duplicates for five slides let's delete the empty slides and then i will go back to slide one and i will adjust the content really quickly And here we go. The slider is complete within uh, 10 minutes, which is super nice. Uh, and if we look at it in different viewports, we can also see that it's responsive. So here we are in a desktop viewport. Then we can go to the laptop size. We can go to the tablet and then even to the mobile and it's all responsive. Let's preview uh, the navigation works, dragging on the screen works in every um, viewport. And if we take a look, it also looks, I would say, almost one on one similar to the product slider of Nike. And that's it for this video.